Hey, what's up? It's me, Seth with SethPerler.com, and I'm making this video for you students today to make your life easier with Google Calendar. And in this video, students, middle, high school, college students, parents and teachers, you might like this too, but I'm going to teach you students how to set up your Google Calendar initially, how I teach students to do it, and they love it because it makes their life easier and it gives them more freedom, more fun, and less stress. And I'm going to show you exactly how I set it up and why so that you can steal these ideas if you like them. So the first thing that's going to happen when you log into your Gmail account, if you're, you can use other things for your calendar, I don't really care, but this is how we do it with a Gmail account. When you first log into your Gmail calendar and you go up to these three dots, here you can actually rearrange the order of these items and I like to get Google Calendar as the first one and then what you're gonna do is you go next to it and you're gonna see where it says week when you first log in you're gonna see it on the week view I do not like to keep it on the week view and 95% of my students we end up changing it to the month view because with our ADHD executive function challenge brains, we tend to do better seeing the big picture here. And this month view that you're seeing here, this is big picture. Then you can click on things to get more detailed, but we like to see the big picture because we miss things. We forget things. We're forgetful. We don't turn things in. We get bogged down with stuff. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to that corner and you're going to click the three lines and that will open up this calendar and then the categories. When you first see the categories, you're going to see it differently. You're going to see your name here or your Gmail name. Then you're going to see reminders and then you're going to see tasks. So if you look over there, you're going to see your Gmail name, the reminders and tasks. But we're going to add in some categories. The categories I recommend you add in is the first one I think should be school. The second one, the order of the rest of them doesn't matter. But basically what we want usually is school, wellness, family, fun, and important. I'll explain. First thing we're going to do is school. Why should school be first? Because it's what we have the most problem with, with getting stuff turned in. It's the most important one right now. So you go into, you click on the three dots, and that is going to take you into settings and sharing. And when we get into the settings and sharing here, it is going to allow you to change the name. So you just click on the name up there, and it used to say your Gmail name. You just type in S-E-H-O-O-O-L, whatever you want to call it. We're going to obnoxiously call it school right here. And then you're going to click these three red dots again. When you click these three red dots again next to school, you want to change the color to red because it's an alert color, like a stop sign. Um, the human eye, when it sees the color red, it says alert. It's very important. So your school stuff is going to be defaulted to red. So again, now we have school and you can see it says math is due right here. So this little assignment, let me slide that somewhere else. Where can I put that? Math do, oh, lost it. Okay, whatever. Um, this math assignment, there it is. So we have school. Next one I have is wellness. You, see, you can call school school. You can call it the name of your school. You can call it the acronym for your school. Then we have wellness, health, whatever you want to call it. Wellness, the reason I teach students to put wellness in there is because that is anything that has to do with maybe sports practice, maybe going to the gym, uh, anything you're doing for your health, your well-being, if you're tracking you know, certain foods that you're eating or whatever you're doing, or going to doctor's appointments, dentist appointments, uh, mental health, anything that has to do with wellness. It's just a great category to have. The next one is family, and family is a good one to have a shared account with your family because then they can add things to your calendar and you don't have to do it which will save you time and save you energy. So if you guys are going to be traveling and they're going to put in all the details of the flight time and all this stuff and packing lists and everything, they can share it with you and it makes life easier. Same with wellness. They can put appointments in for you if you share the wellness one. Then I recommend my students have fun because a lot of my students just use their calendar for the important things or for school and they have like free time can go in here. You can put your free time in your calendar and fun. You can put your fun things in there. You know, some of my students will be like, I don't do anything for fun. And it's like they do, but they don't notice it. Like put it in your calendar. So there's fun. Um, and then there's important. The last category I have is important because this would be like other types of appointments, getting a driver's license, doing a college application, all sorts of things you can put in important and you can color code these. Now I put in guitar because you can also put in like your passion areas. You can make a calendar for yourself for those areas as well, which is a great idea. 
And one last sort of pro tip here is that if you look at where I have this math here, um, this math assignment at the top right up there, it's red because that is a school assignment. And when you click on it, it says school as the category over here. And what you can do is you can click on it. And let's say you turned in your math homework, you can turn it green and your teacher says, I didn't get your math homework. You're like, yes, you did. I know you did because I turned it in because I turned it green after I turned it in. So if you get in the habit of only ever turning it green after you turn something in, that is a very good habit to get into. In fact, you can even put more details there. But to recap here, go ahead and look over there and you'll see that we have the categories school with the letter red, the color red with all caps. And then whatever order you want to put wellness, family, fun, and important. And then you can figure out reminders and tasks and other calendars later. But those are the things that I want to encourage you to set yourself up for success with. When you start getting more advanced and you start getting better at planning and calendars, you want your life to be easier. Set up your calendar in the month view with school, all caps, red, wellness, family, fun, important. You can call them different things, but those basic categories are going to make your life so much easier easier. Again, my name is Seth with SethPerler.com. If you like what I'm doing, go ahead and share it with somebody. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all the things. But I'm really interested right now in what do you think? Do you have any pro tips, any any ideas for us on how to use Google Calendar or an electronic calendar in a cool way that we haven't discussed here, leave it in the comments. Tell us your cool ideas to help us make our lives easier. Like, subscribe, comment, all the things. Have a fantastic day. I hope you have peace in your heart, joy, and connection with the people you care about. Take care.